Right, uh, quick C++ quiz. So when I do this at conferences, it's usually like at least an hour and we have 10 questions. Let's see, in four and a half minutes, just do one question and just instead play around with it for a bit. So to make sure that you're paying attention, I brought five, uh, four vouchers from a free copy, an ebook copy of my book. So anyone who comes up uh, after and said they tried, the first four ones will get a free ebook. I don't even have to make it, just you tried. Okay, the task is, I'll show you a small C++ program, and your uh, task is to figure out what does it print. And also, what does the standard say it should print? And are there any issues with this code? And the code in question uh, is this one. I haven't, oh, can you zoom this somehow? Uh, okay, can you see anything here? Do you know how to, do you know how to zoom your browser? Not on my laptop. Uh, the what? The A on the left, okay. Okay, now we're gonna be in a hurry. Okay, I haven't added the final curly just to make it not run uh, yet, but what's the output? What does the standard say the output should be? And are there any issues? And don't shout out the answer just yet. I'll give you 30 seconds to uh, figure it out. Yeah, I'm running on Clang with no compiler options on Linux. Hmm? <laughs> it does. Okay, I think uh, we'll have to continue. So what does it print? Hmm? Two times lead? Did task one and did task two, and that's correct. It does print that. And uh, what does the standard say it should print? Undefined behavior, because in the restricted task two, we don't initialize ID, so it has an indeterminate value, and using that is undefined behavior. Um, that, does the standard say, well, at least it should print did task one before we get to the UB? No, because when you have UB anywhere in your program, the entire execution is undefined. So this is all undefined behavior. But why does it print did task two? Stack frame, yeah. So when you call restricted task one, you get a stack frame. It gets the value 1337 into the right place on the stack. It goes off the stack. You call the next function, and 1337 is still there on the stack in exactly the same place, and it has like the same number of parameters and whatnot. What so it's still there. Um, yeah, and now to the useful part. So how do you avoid this? How do you um, ensure that you catch bugs like this? Warnings, so if I do, if I add some warnings, uh, here we go, it says variable ID is uninitialized when used here. So that's nice. But it's easy for the compiler since it's just right in here. What if I got ID through a pointer or a reference to somewhere else that the compiler can't see? Now how do I avoid this? Memory sanitizer is uh, correct, so that's, there's a sanitizer called memory sanitizer. If you run this program with mem memory sanitizer, it's going to tell you exactly what you did wrong. Uh, right, so just let's play around with it for a bit. What happens if I do static here, and I'll press space in a minute. But what's going to happen when I press space? It only prints did task one, and not did task two. So we have fixed the issue, have we? Or what, what, what's changed? Yeah, so now the new ID here is not on the stack. It's a static storage duration thing. It's off in global memory somewhere. So it doesn't go on the stack frame. So did we fix the UB? No, because the other ID is still uninitialized. What if I add static here? So nothing changes, it still prints only did task one. Is there, U, is there UB? No, there's no UB because uh, a variable with static storage duration is automatically zero initialized for you. So as the program starts, it will be, uh, it's actually just will, the memory page is just zeros. So anyway, it's, the standard guarantee is it's zero initialized. So there is no more UB. Uh, this is probably not the correct logic, but uh, it was just fun to play around with. And we have three minutes left, so. Cheers and enjoy the rest of the conference.